Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create a multi-section solid in Katia. Basically, multi-section solid is a solid volume created by various sections. For example, uh, if you see other commands like pad, you know, uh, shaft command, rip command. In those command, what we used to do is we have one section and we used to extrude it in certain direction we have only one section and we used to translate in in particular direction but what if there is a requirement when we have three different sections like this and if you want to create a solid between these three, three sections in such cases we need to use the advanced command that is multi-section solid this command also comes with when you create a solid between those two uh, these three sections usually what happens the solid what is created between these sections are not as per your requirement it is irregular in shape so in that case you can also use the guide curves along these uh, three sections starting from this section to this section and you can use that guide curves to guide whatever solid you are creating between these three sections the multi-section solid feature can be made to respect one or more guide curves okay let's start with the beginning first i will create a plane parallel planes create another plane reverse direction say ok now hide other curves planes which you don't require ok now create three sections Now we have three section in place. Now we will hide the place. Okay. You can select the multi section solid from this quick access toolbar, or you can just go in insert sketch based features and multi section solid. Fine. Select a multi section solid. And select these three sections. First section, second section, and third section. You must be careful when selecting the sections. You must select it in sequence. You cannot select this section, this section, and this section. They should be in sequence. Then go in the coupling. You can find different coupling options here. Select a ratio and say preview. If you see that whatever solid is created between this this three section is not regular it is too much twisted and hence the katia is giving error that you cannot create the solid between these three sections now we just need to alter the closing points and the directions of these three uh, closing points and directions i will show you this is the first closing point in first section second section is having closing point here and third section is having closing point here so we need to make sure that all the closing points should be such that the 
the whatever solid is we, we are creating should not have a twist so what we'll do we simply right click this collision point and say replace we'll take it here now we'll take this closing point this closing point is okay now check the directions this this three closing points should have the same directions this is also okay and this is also okay so now say preview okay. now the solid is created this is the first couple of option what you have seen now we'll go back and try another option now we'll see the third option that is tangency and curvature in this option the requirement is the number of points on each section should be same now if you observe this first section is having four number of points second section is having no point at all third section has is having again four number of points so maximum number of points here is four so on this middle section we need to create four points so go in the sketcher now extend this point command you can find there is a command that is equilibrious equidistant point select this select your circle put your number of points say okay exit the workbench Now go in multi section solid <coughs> select your three sections go in coupling select tangency and curvature you need to select this box and then start selecting your points first point second point and third point right click on the screen say add coupling and select another set of points now before seeing a preview as you know that uh, we should have this closing point on same curve so we will replace this closing point and place it here now check the directions of each closing point it is in same direction so we will save preview and here we go we have created a multi section solid by using a tangency and curvature now you see the last option in coupling that is vertices now if you observe there are four number of vertices in first section in second section there are no vertices there are just points on this curve but there are no vertices on this section and in third section you can find that there are also same number of vertices as in first section number of vertices are four so the requirement here now is uh, we need to create four number of vertices on this circle so we'll go in sketcher so first of all delete the points what we have created then we'll draw a axis Select this break command. Use the use this break and key and break this. Break this circle. Okay. No. 
exit the workbench go in multi section solid select this three sections go in coupling select vertices adjust your closing points check the direction in separate this is how we can create a multi section solid using the coupling or using the coupling options now one thing i need you to take care of is when you are drawing a multi section solid you need to take care that the sections whatever you are using should not intersect with each other because the multi section solid capability assumes that section curves to be used do not intersect with each other and if they intersect the solid that is created between those is too irregular and impossible to create so in this case we have covered the you know, creating a multi section solid using the coupling option now we'll see why uh, what this guide curves and spine is used to create a multi section solid first we need to create two section curves and the guide curve okay so go in sketcher select one plane draw your first section exit the workbench now go in sketcher select your plane draw a guide curve exit the workbench now create a plane which is normal to this guide curve normal to curve select this curve select the end point and say okay now create second section on this plane exit the workbench now we have to create a solid between these two sections now go in a multi section solid command select these two sections go in coupling select a ratio check the closing points check their directions they should be in same direction as i said earlier say preview this is how we have created a solid between these two sections now if you want to create a solid between these two section using a spine go in a multi section solid command select your two sections go in spine select your spine choose coupling go in the ratio select the ratio say preview you need to just check the direction replace the closing point say preview so we have created a multi section solid using a spine now we'll try to create a multi section solid using this guide curve command this is used when you need a solid volume here also and for that purpose you need to draw a, a one guideline from this point to this point i'll show you first create a point on the circle so okay draw your line this is your guide curve okay now create another point so okay draw your line from this point to this point so okay go in multi section solid select these two sections go in guide curves 
select these two guide curves point coupling select ratio adjust your closing point set preview now if you observe whatever solid is created is following this two guide curve if you unhide it you can see it now we have covered up the multi-section solid command if you have any doubt while creating your own multi-section solid then please kindly comment below i'll be happy to help you thank you guys thank you very much